Transit Arts. Hello, inventors. Today we're going to be doing a, I'm going to be showing you a portrait that I made, and it has a story. Now, I actually drew a lot of inspiration from this artist, Utagawa Kuniyoshi. And you can see here, one of his artworks is called A Fierce Depiction of Uesugi Kenshin, Seated. And you can see the date there. It was made in either 1843 or 1844. That was like 200 years ago. And I think it's pretty neat that even 200 years later, we'll still know the story of Uesugi Kenshin because Utagawa Kuniyoshi uh, drew him, painted him. And I thought that would be pretty neat to, to do a story of one of my family members, my brother. And I was very excited to, to be living with him for a little while. And so I, I figured I would make a little portrait and tell him, tell a little bit of, about him and, and sort of draw from inspiration from uh, Utagawa Kuniyoshi. And you can see Utagawa Kuniyoshi uses a lot of re repetition of shape and patterns. Um, you can see that a lot of the clothing doesn't have any shading. It's, it's mostly flat, but it's layered and um, has overlapping features to know what's in the foreground and what's in the background. You can see his feet are underneath and below his, his robes there. And you can see that because the, the front part of the robe is in front of his feet, but then behind his feet, you can see another section of the robe, giving it the illusion that the feet, the, the feet and the legs are going inside of his robes. Remember that this is a completely two-dimensional piece of artwork, but it gives you the illusion of three dimensions because it's overlapping elements in a very specific way. And in a similar fashion, I'm going to show you how I made the portrait of my brother and a little bit of what I wrote about him. And I think it'd be really neat to see what you all come up with as far as who you choose to represent, who you choose to make a, a portrait of and a story about, and what kind of collage elements you use, if any. We'll be providing the paper and scissors, but then you get to add your own flavor to it. Maybe you want the, the person to be running. I have here my brother just sort of standing around with some headphones and uh, his his cell phone with chess on it, and um, says, <laughs> my brother Marcos is a really cool guy. He makes music and is good at playing games like chess. I like him a lot because he's very funny. I am very proud to call Marcos my brother. And my handwriting isn't the neatest there, but I thought it was pretty cool uh, anyway to have a story right along with a portrait. And here I'm gonna go ahead and break down some of uh, the process of how I made that. And here we go. So I started out with a printout of some clothing and I went ahead and took my time cutting. Now you can see that it's going pretty fast. It's cause actually I sped up the video, but I'm actually going really, really slow. And that's what I would suggest when you're cutting out anything. Really, really go super duper slow as if you were going in slow motion. Um, <laughs> but for the process of this video, I'm sort of just speeding it up so that you all don't get super bored. But, um, but actually when you're cutting it, it's, it's quite nice to, to slow down and, and sort of meditate and cut around the little edges and things. So that's my f first thing I do is I, I just sort of cut some, um, cut the, the outline of that. Then I will put it over the collage. Uh, paper that I want to collage with and you see there I'm drawing the silhouette I'm drawing around the edges on the outside edges of the the hoodie and I wanted to have a hoodie because I thought that'd be pretty neat to 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 give my brother a little hoodie there and then I go ahead and I cut out the collage paper and you can see me again sort of going and cutting out the big chunk so that I can hold the entire thing that I'm cutting out in my hand. I don't want to be messing around with the entire paper. I just cut out the small chunk and then I have a smaller chunk to work with. So here I am just going into the arm <laughs> holes and it's tricky, but again, you can kind of just pull it out if you, if you take your time with it. 
And those corners there are the trickiest. I go right up to the corner and then I come from a different angle, you see, and meet in that corner. And then you can sort of pull out the extra, extra little bit of uh, paper there. So you don't necessarily have to go it in one go. You kind of readjust your scissors to, to where you're cutting. And you can see me here tracing the, the upper part of the hoodie. So I'm cutting apart this hoodie because the hoodie sort of has different parts. And I wanted to highlight those different parts with different collage elements. Again, you see me cutting out a big chunk for what I traced, and then I actually can go ahead and get into the finer details of cutting out the, the shapes that I traced on there. And here I am sort of cleaning up the shapes a little bit. Anyway, I, <laughs> I continue here and I do the same thing for the bottom part of his hoodie. Again, I, I've cut it out and then I lay it on top of the collage paper that I want to use. I cut out a big chunk of that paper and then I can go in and get the finer details once I have the big pieces of paper away from the little piece that I want to use. <laughs> So there I go, I'm just sort of lining things up and making sure that they fit over the, the hoodie in a nice way. And then I decide, you know what, I'm gonna choose this purple paper for, for my brother's pants because, you know, he likes, he likes colorful pants sometimes. And so I figured it'd be, it'd be cool, it'd be fun to, to give my brother these, these really cool purple pants. And he doesn't really have that pair, but I think he, he'd like them if, if he did have them. But anyway, I'm going here, I'm cutting out. Remember, when you're going into those corners, you can come at it from two different angles. You cut one side, then you stop, and you cut in from the other side so you can get a really nice clean cut with that angle. Anywhere where like your uh, um, the thing that you want to cut out has a really sharp uh, sort of angle, you're not going to be able to curve your scissors around it. You're going to have to uh, cut up to the line and then come in from the other line to get a really, really nice crisp um, angle, a really nice crisp cup, cut. And usually you get to pull out the little bit of paper there because it's just the tiniest little space that you need to, to sort of clear out. But anyway, I, I noticed that, okay, I have my, uh, my entire, all, all of the elements I want to collage cut out and then I go looking for um, <laughs> another piece of paper uh, so that I can glue on all the collage elements. Now, here I am sort of placing things. In the future, if I would have done this again, I'm, I might have uh, considered the paper size and the composition um, to to where I wanted, like how big I wanted my, my cutouts to be. But for this case, I just kind of went with um, <laughs> standard sizes or with what I was provided, what I, what I did with the, the printouts that I, I did with the clothing. So anyway, you can see me there gluing on the top portion of the hoodie onto the, the main portion of the hoodie. And when I'm gluing, I usually use a piece of paper behind the thing that I'm gluing so I can go up all the way to the edges and not get glue all over the table that I'm working on. And that's, that's pretty important. And then you can kind of use the eraser. <laughs> you can see me there using the eraser to clear out some of the, the lines that I, I hadn't cleaned out before. And... Um, so there I go, <laughs> I'm placing, placing the, the, the legs and I'm kind of deciding how I want the legs to overlap or how I want the hoodie to overlap the legs. You can kind of see me lining it up. Again, when I'm gluing, I'm placing the thing that I'm gluing above a, a piece of paper so I am not getting glue all over the table. And when you press down on the glue thing that you're gluing, you wanna make sure that you press down all around it, otherwise, if you don't press down the edges, the glue will start to, to give out or will never attach to the edges and then your, your thing that you glued on will sort of come apart from the paper. So remember, press down all over the thing that you've just glued to make sure that it stays. And <laughs> you can see me come to the realization that I'm going to need to use another cutout for my brother's head <laughs> because I want his neck to go inside of the hoodie uh, I can't just necessarily draw that onto the, the colored hoodie. It won't really read. So instead, <laughs> instead I go ahead and, and draw on a white piece of paper, for a 
which is actually just the backside of one of the collage papers. And I'm just, <laughs> I'm just sort of drawing his, his, uh, his face there. And uh, I'm not terribly concerned with if it looks exactly like him. Um, for this piece of artwork, it's more of a symbolic uh, portrait. It's not necessarily him looking exactly like what my brother looks like. So anyway, I go ahead and <laughs> cut out his head there so that I can glue it onto the hoodie. Because again, I couldn't have necessarily drawn onto that colored paper. It would have been a little messier. Instead, I just can collage paste his his head onto onto his his hoodie there and you can see me there i kind of jumped a bit uh i went ahead and wrote his story and drew uh little things about him because because he likes music i put little headphones on in his hands there and uh and i put uh i put a phone in his hand with chess because he likes to play chess so and again all of this is not necessarily super realistic but what it symbolizes is i think important to me and it's sort of a way to celebrate um <laughs> my brother and what he likes to do and um and i, I just thought that would be nice to do and I, I really i really liked the style in which um that artist worked in and so i figured i'd make something like this and you can see me going in with a marker and sort of outlining the, the pencil work that I did. Um, and I did this, I usually work in pencil first because I can, it's easy to erase and uh, I kind of get the, the line down that I want. And then when I'm really sure that I have what I want, I go in and uh, use marker to really, really pop the lines. So you can barely see the phone. But when I start outlining with marker, Bada bing, bada boom. You've got a very clear image of what I've drawn in pencil. So you can see me there outlining everything. And the other thing you can see is I'm gonna up. I'm about to put down a line <laughs> uh, right underneath his his legs there, so he's not necessarily floating in in this white space. I'll give him a little bit of a, a place to stand on. You see me taking a pause and realizing, oh, yep, <laughs> there needs to be a ground. He has to be standing on ground. I mean, that's that's what I wanted <laughs> anyway for this one. I wanted him to be standing on ground. If you want your person floating in space, maybe you do a space background in the background of your uh, of your collage, or maybe you find some space images and collage on top of that. You know, it's really up to you guys. <laughs> I'm I'm excited to see excited to see your uh, your images there and. Here's one last look at the portrait of my brother and look forward to, to sort of seeing what you guys come up with. All right, see you later inventors. Transit Arts. <laughs> <laughs>